I'm going to show you and you and you and you and you how to make a uh, tripod stand for your i your phone that has a camera in it, iPhone or a Android or whatever, whatever they're called, um, that you can you make very easily out of two hangers and some tape and some cardboard. And what I like about it, I will show you as soon as I find my other hanger. Here it is. Moved out of the way. So you start with two wire hangers. <clears throat> well, let's start with the cardboard first. Get that out of the way. Take a piece of cardboard. I'll just take... Okay, why doesn't this open up? There we go. I'm using this slightly thinner cardboard just because I can. I'm just going to cut this here. Here's my phone. I get a pencil. Do I have a pencil in my house here somewhere? Why didn't I come prepared? Here. I'm going to measure it. Bang essentially this big, right? I want two pieces of cardboard that are that big. Except I want them to be slightly smaller than that because I want to be able to not have the, I want to have the lens visible so they're going to be shorter. See? Good. Got that? Okay, you take the two, or you could just, you can just use one, one, just make it twice as big, twice as long, tall, make sure it's the right size, and you cut fold it in half. You could also cut it in half and use two pieces that you tape together, but this is easier. See? This is going to be your platform that this is going to sit on. Now if you want to be fancy, you could, if you had such a thing, um, well, we can pretend there's a rubber band around this. Because do I have a rubber band anywhere near me to be able to do this in person? Where, if you were a rubber band <laughs> in my house, where would you be? We'll just pretend this is a rubber band. I'll just draw it. There it is. It's right there. Anyway. Maybe two rubber bands. Can I have got a rubber band? Is there any rubber band anywhere? Do I know where I have my rubber band? Somewhere I've got a big box or a bag of them, but it doesn't make any difference. You know how a rubber band works. So you wrap a couple of rubber bands around this thing. Okay, let's just find one. Can I find a rubber band? Here, plan ahead. Just pretend there's a rubber band around it. I don't have time to look. Okay, throw your cardboard away. Get it off your table. Get your hangers out. Where'd the other hanger go? There it is. Okay, you take two ro I agree with Ms. Crawford. Wire hangers are evil. You take one wire hanger and the other one, and you have the two hangery bits. And you do that. You interlock them. Actually, you can do it even this way. This would even be better. Look at this. This is even better. See, you, you connect them through the bottom bits like that. Wrap them together like that. Now you take your, where'd the piece of cardboard go? <laughs> uh, 
Gustafson. I hit it right here. Did I throw it on the floor? Why is my life so difficult? I'll just make another one. Be that way. Try not to lose your people piece of cardboard you work so hard on, right? I'm going to make this a little tiny bit narrower, shorter. Okay, now you can take a piece of tape if you want. You don't need to, but I'm going to take a piece of tape anyway. And I'm going to tape these two hangers in place. If I can make the tape work. When you have your house full of antique tape, don't be surprised that it doesn't work. Okay. I'm going to just take it and Pull these two things together, under, over, there, I'm just holding them together very loosely here so I can, I don't have to use all of my hands to hold it together while I do this. This is the important thing, is you want this to be tight up against this. Now, I'm going to bend these out a little bit so that I, what I want are four legs sort of coming out of the four corners of this piece of cardboard. Kind of, sort of. So we have this, and now we tape it again. So what we're doing is we're essentially just taping. My tape is doing that. I hate when that happens. We're just taping this thing. Tape is our friend in this particular project because we need it later. So we tape it this way. And if we had our rubber bands around here, we'd make sure we wouldn't tape the rubber bands. And then we also tape it this way. And you can do it more than I'm doing it here. But you know, what the hell, I'll just do it correctly. Why don't I do it correctly, Pierre? Do you think I can do that correctly? I've got a wire coming out of this corner, that corner, and a wire coming out of the other two corners. And you can add as many layers of tape to make it strong, grr, that you want. So. Eventually, this thing is going to sit right on top of this platform with, held in place by the rubber bands, or you can also use tape to cover it, to hold it on if you want. Okay, now what do you do? How is this supposed to help? Well, you get your wire cutters, and you cut the leg in half. Now you've got two legs over there and two legs over here, and then you bend them so they're straight, more or less. And but what I'm going to do, because of the space I have between you and the camera, I'm going to make these legs shorter, but you don't want them shorter. I'm making them um, short because I want you to be able to see it easily. 
So, but you'd probably want them to be roughly, I don't know, 15 inches maybe. Okay, throw the other parts you don't want on the floor next to the piece of cardboard you cut earlier. And now you've got this platform and four wires coming out. And the platform is very sturdy. And then you bend this, bend them down. So you're, you're making essentially a four-legged daddy long leg spider. And then you make little feet. You bend, you bend the legs to make little feet. You bend them sort of out from the center. Now, so here we, here's our little, our little platform. Now, depending on how carefully you measured the, the legs, clearly I did not measure them. You saw me not measure them. But, so what you do then, here's my phone. Let's pretend I turned it on, but the, make sure the lens is facing is not obscured by the platform and you would rubber bind it in place like that. So I'm just going to tape it down. You can also tape it. It's not going to hurt the phone. Okay. There you go. There's the lens. Okay, now imagine here, this yellow thing represents my. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> um, represents my piece of paper I want to draw on. Show you my pen collection and how my pens work. What I do is I arrange it so my hand is here, my other hand is here, and I can draw and write. And what I do is I take the leg that is the closest to this piece of paper to my right hand. If you were left-handed, you'd use this leg and you lift it up. Pretend the it's a dog taking a leak. Okay? And then you, with your tape, you just apply a little tiny bit of tape to the three remaining legs to hold it to the to I'm I'm using a I'm on a slanted desktop so that's not helping my my uh, my demonstration here but you just you know you and you can adjust where this camera is being aimed by how you adjust this leg. And you can play around with more adjustments here and there. But what you're going to have is this camera being held aloft above the writing surface and there's nothing in your way of writing. It's going to be up another, I don't know, six inches or so off the table. Right now I it's blocking my view of this and the shadows blocking it. So, you know, you'd make you'd make your lighting work so that you don't well, let's just turn this thing on. Does this turn on? But by just tweaking these legs and bending them, you might have to, you know, bend this one like that to make it shorter or move the tape up a little bit more to make it work the right way and you have to wear safety goggles because if I if I had to look closer I don't want my eyeball to be skewered by the leg sticking up. Now you can actually you can cut this leg off if you want to. Um, in fact why don't I do it right now? I don't need three 
I don't need four legs on my tripod. This is a tripod, not a quadrupod. Okay, let's get our camera. If you had a rubber band rather than this piece of tape, you could see better what you're doing. But what you do is make sure that your the shadow isn't in your way like it is right now. Let's say I want to Let me just take this off. Come on. Pierre Gustafson, if you had only planned three minutes and gotten a piece of a rubber band, you wouldn't have to be caught with your pants down. Okay, there we go. I need another piece of tape. Oh, now what's wrong? I, you know, why do I turn my phone on and it runs out of batteries within seconds of being turned on? I don't understand what's wrong with this phone. Yeah, I know, I plugged it in. So, anyway, the, uh, gist of it is you have a tripod that's holding this thing parallel to the surface of the table and you're able to hold the paper with one hand write with the other hand talk you can see by looking at the top of this what you're drawing writing and you can zoom in and you can focus, refocus, um, and it works really well. Now, when it's twice as tall as this, it may be, I don't think it'll be too flimsy. The phone doesn't weigh that much, but you could use slightly thicker hanger wire. This is the cheap stuff that you get from the dry cleaner, but you could find beefier wire. But you don't want it so beefy that you can't bend it with your fingers to make to adjust the um, height by just you know tweaking tweaking the length of this thing by adding a curve to it, and it really really works well. Um, I I found it really really works well. It when you're dealing with a tripod, a real tripod, you've got three big honking legs that are one of them is going to be in your way I guarantee it one will be in your way okay I know you're out of power you don't have to keep telling me that so anyway that's the idea and again if this were taller and raised up the shadow would be further away from the camera. The camera is now turning on so I can show you more. Um, a little what might work better than now you, you want to have a, a rubber band because you want to be able to see the camera. I was going to say a, a band of Velcro that could be taped onto this. But you really want to see the screen uh, completely. And, you know, if this thing is level, not tilted at all, you could just have it set on that thing. Okay. See, it says 70 fucking percent charge. So what's wrong with you? Are you, are you, so you're 77 percent charge and you needed a battery. Explain to me how that works. Write your answers below. Video. Okay, I've got a video going. No. Okay. So here I get my video orient oriented the right way. I'll start it up. Let me just find... Where did my tape go? No. Yes. Piece of tape. 
that's all I need is just one little smidgen of tape. I'm horizontally done. There's still a little bit of shadow here because of the shortness of this thing. So there's just a little tiny bit of shadow over here on the side. So let's start this up. Video go. It's now recording. Two, three, four. Let's get a pen. It's sometimes nice when you're doing this to maybe put little marks on the table where the field of view is so you know that you're always inside of that. Um, and you know, you tap on the screen to focus it and you can tap on the screen or pinch the screen to make it closer. You can move it back. It's really, really easy. And again, you're not dealing with anything that's a real bother. Even this leg of this low battery, you just had 70%. What? Explain this to me. 10%, it says now. It was 70%. It was 0%, then 70%, then 10% within two minutes. One minute and 13 seconds. Even this shadow of this leg isn't a shadow of a real tripod leg, which would be annoying. So, two wires, what you need for this thing, two wires, hanger, wire hangers, everyone has that. Maybe a nudist colony doesn't. Two wire hangers, piece of cardboard, some tape, um, a plier so you can bend the wire and break it, or a wire cutters if you have that. And uh, there you go. Rubber band would maybe be better than what I did. And if the rubber band breaks and you, you, know, you put another one in, you saw how difficult it is. And you don't even, I mean, I could add one now easily enough by just finding one somewhere. That's the hard part. And pulling it up a leg and doing it down. But it's really, really an easy way to to move, move it about. And also while you're drawing, while you're recording your movie, you can, you know, move the, move the, take, keep one leg down and the other two legs can be moved around. Just really, really simply. Much easier than maybe moving, you know, this very uh, sturdy um, gooseneck iPad holder upper thingy that I'm using to actually record this. This is really a sweet way to do it. And it's essentially free. And it works better than something that's expensive. You know, if this phone weighed 10 pounds, it wouldn't work. If, but the phone does not weigh 10 pounds. So let's stop that. Let's see how this worked. the screen to make it closer. Yeah. You can move it back. It's really, really easy. Yeah. How nice that is. It works really well. So those people that have an iPhone or 1%, now we're back down to 1%. I'll plug this in and see if it goes up to 77%. This little pink case has got to go. It's hardly working. Another thing you could do is buy one of these cases 
and glue this to your surface. That might be the best thing that you can do. You can buy, you know, these cases for not very much money. See, look at this. 72%. It went from 1% to 72%. Write your answers below. Explain how that works. And don't just say the battery's fucked. I need to... I need you to <laughs> explain saying lithium battery blah 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 fluctuates because of the movement of the Earth's crust. I need to have factoids, not just they're fucked. That doesn't work. But buying a case like this, gluing it onto here so it's sturdy, slipping the phone in when you want to slip it in, making your movie, press record, press stop, and you're done. And this is it. It really, really, really works. You just have to make the lighting Again, if this were taller, the shadow of this thing and the phone would be off screen. And by arranging the light, you might even get rid of the one leg of the shadow. It's easy enough to do. So, there you go. There you have it. The end. Bye.